Alessandro Profumo has stepped down as chief executive of Unicredit Profumo, really ending his 13-year tenure at Italy's biggest bank after clashing with shareholders over Libyan investments in the company. Well, joining me now from Rome for a closer look at how Profumo's resignation affects Unicredit is Stefano Caselli. He teaches corporate banking at Pochoni University. Thank you very much for speaking to us. So, first of all, just take us through the significance of uh, Profumo's, uh, Profumo leaving the company. What does this mean for Unicredit? Yeah, it was a big surprise, but my opinion is that uh, uh, very different stories met in the same crossroad in, uh, in the same moment. An Italian story, a German story, an international story. The issue was and is uh, governance because Unicredit has to find a new equilibrium inside the goals, the interest of different shareholders. So the solution to uh, exit and to fire Mr. Profumo is a very short-term decision. Uh, the next CEO of Unicredit uh, has to find a new compromise, a new equilibrium inside different shareholders. And uh, this is, will be very, very difficult. And how could this affect the company? Could it potentially jeopardize Unicredit's international expansion? Um, my opinion is that uh, Unicredit has to run in the future two different challenges. Because from one side, one of the problems was uh, the fact that Unicredit uh, lost completely the focus on the Italian market. And that was one of the reasons, of the main reason of the exit of Mr. Profumo. So Unicredit from one side has to focus again on Italy, but on the other side has to follow and to multiply the expansion outside Italy. So the next CEO of Unicredit has to find this compromise between these two different strategies. My opinion is that there will, uh, there will be not a stop in the expansion of Unicredit in the future, because the, uh, 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 the structure of the organization of Unicredit is too big stay in many countries in Europe, it is, it's impossible to stop this expansion. Nevertheless, from what you're saying, Profumo's successor could potentially focus perhaps a little more on domestic markets. We could see how significant a change could we see in the strategic direction the bank now takes. Yeah, uh, uh, Unicredito is an international bank, but roots of Unicredito stay in Italy. Uh, so it's necessary to find a compromise. You have also to remember that uh, three years ago, when there was the big merge between uh, Unicredito and Capitalia uh, in, uh, in Italy, uh, this big merge was not able to generate efficiency, was not a, a good merge, and that generates a lot of negative pitfalls on the Italian market. So the next CEO has to start again from this point to generate again value also for the Italian market. Svana Caselli, thank you very much. Need good to get to your insight and analysis.